Pink Poodle Crafts, join the Poodle Pack. It's time to get creative and make you laugh. Make your own art today. Pink Poodle Crafts is the way. What a good boy. Hey, Crafted Family. It's me. And we're back with part two of our shabby chic ornament, which is now dry and thankfully no longer sticky and looking beautimous. And I've got some things I dug out that I thought may or may not be useful in this situation. Um, yeah, these, the sides of these are going to be too stuck, too, um, what do you call it? Puppy, too dimensional. That's it. These will work. These are good. These are good. A couple of these. Oh, how pretty. That nice champagne color. Nice vintage champagne color. And maybe some, I was thinking maybe, maybe some rhinestone trim somewhere. Um... but maybe mm, no nope there's nowhere to really put it in a good place not a good place for it we'll just put these on these little suckeroonies hey get over here I said I said get over here Dang it. Very nice, very nice. And now we need to figure out our situation with the, um, I want to put the metal thing on top, if possible. I'm not sure how well that'll go over, but we're going to find out. Let me see if I can get my metal pieces out that I want. Let's see. Let's see. Hmm. I've got this one. But it won't really, it won't really go over and bend as well as some of the other ones I have. Hmm. centered. I'd rather put this one. Oh. Hmm. Uh -huh. Maybe we can do a flower. See with that center. Dang it. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I need to get it to go through the center. I'd probably punch a bigger, yeah, but that would take that out. Let me see, is there one with a bigger hole? Yeah, let me look in the other bin and see if another one would be better with a different one. Let's see. Let's see. Mm. See, on the other one I put a string, remember? I didn't have a metal thing to stick it through. 
which is causing me an issue having to try to figure out how to do that we'll think of something because I said so <laughs> let me see I got other things I got other things let's just wait and see I'm looking not in there I know you guys are waiting patiently let's see what's in here I love a god tigger oh my god the, the constant barking today is driving me nuts he's getting annoying He's getting annoying in his old age. To put around there that would go around to that metal piece very well. Hmm. Interesting. I thought this would be the least of my problems. Apparently. Apparently it's not. I'm still looking, friends. To see what I've got that I could put. I'm looking in my vintage stuff. I'm looking everywhere. I don't know. I'm running out of hope here. I may not be able to put anything there. That might be a loss. You may have to not put something in the center. Unless I can take one of these filigrees and punch it with a punch and make a bigger hole but any of the ones that would bend over the area right I could do that one and punch a hole in it or see that one the holes I don't know why he's carrying on like that Tigger come on enough you're making me mad Stop acting like a jackass. Let's try this and we'll see if we can't get that to... I'm going to kill him. I swear I'm going to kill him. He's making me angry. Tigger! Enough! Nobody cares! You're going to get a spanking. Let's try that. Oh, it did punch through. I'm a little off-center, but well, I may have to punch a little bit more out of it anyway, so. Are you be are you done being a bad boy? Goodness. Uh... I promise eventually I'll get back to editing my videos so you don't have to deal with all the slow and the me getting up and the, I have to go find this and Tigger shut up like <laughs> won't be as bad after a while I just don't have the energy to sit and edit videos right now it's either I got to get them out now or or that's it all right now that's a little rough piece of metal right there that we don't want and I don't know if I have anything. Where the hell is my sanding stuff at? Well, maybe I can just use a tool to get it to scrunch down or something. There we go. Ah, there we go.
pretty cool. I want to put my string in there first, though. I think I'm going to do seam binding. I think that's the way to go. Don't you? Ow. I'm hurting myself. Okay. All right. Seam binding. first because I think it would make a lot more sense, don't you? Because it's going to be hard enough to get it through there to begin with because of crap in the way. this in. Eventually we'll get this figured out. Chubby cheek. Get your chubby cheek. I do is stick some glue under that with my fiber attack and that should make it stay where it needs to stay I hope I don't think I need this for a while so we can move that out of my way that would be ideal Just have to wipe that off to make sure I didn't get any of the fabric tack on it. Because we don't want that. We want it to stay nice and clean. Alrighty. So there's our bobble, as some people call them. Now let's work on the bottom. We need one of these big ones. And then we need one of those to hook it. Now we've got some of this lights we can put at the bottom. We've got some more of this lace we can put at the bottom. Okay, scissors, stop being a jackass. 
And we've got some of this lace we could put at the bottom. And we have also, where'd it go? Where'd it go? I had a bag over here. Oh, there it is. It has some potential things in it, like fibery things and whatnot and so forth. There's this one, which is a little bit different. Let's see. There's this one, which is like tan and white. And I think it's all out of that bag. Well, that might be enough, really of that stuff, that type of stuff. Gotta try to shove it all through the loop. So we need to get it all up at the top here. So it'll all shove through together. Shove it through. Okay, and then we need some wire. We'll make our little tassel friend. Where did that wire go? Oh, here it is. I'll just use this sucker. Use this little sucker. Wrap the wire around the base of this thing, tassel, dude. A couple times just to give it enough strength to. Ones. Trying to get these to cooperate. I'm going to hold this with one end. I can't get it to. Come on, fool. Press down. There you go. On the other side. Good 
good enough or not. Okay, there we go. All right. Took me a minute. Look how pretty. Hey, watch your step. Oh, how pretty. We need some beets. We need some beads. We need some beads. I wonder if putting some of these on that. I did it before on the other one, but I may do it again on that one. Now, I do need to go get some of my shabby beads. I have some beads that are kind of shabby chic to use. So, let me go grab a box of those if I can find them. Hold on one second. They're right over here. They're right over here. I hope. Yeah, here they are. At least use some of these on the bottom. Let's see. These on this side. All right. Let's get ourselves a couple of eye pins and make us some pretty dangly doos for our little for our little ornament. Or fun little ornament. No no no, you're not supposed to go there. Find something that works. Let's try a big old pearl. Big old pearl. What else we got? Oh, we got that. But these are a little big. I want a little one to go on. Actually, no, I don't. I want a um a bead cap. There they are. I want a bead cap. Oh, that is so hard to get open. Oh, my arthritis hates these boxes. Hates them. It just don't like them. Let's do this. more of these other kind of bead caps I'm running out that would be cute as a charm on its own so we will find oh, cut about it cut it cut it and roll it and do all the things that you're supposed to do to it make it into a bead charm Okay, we got one bead charm there. Then we've got this cute little one here, which that's too big. We'll just put tiny ones on this one. I'm gonna make this into a bead charm. Beautimus. Okay, we got two bead charms. What else? We need to make some strand. Why is this so big? How did that happen? 
Oh my goodness. Let me fix that. Sister, you too big. Ow. Don't pinch my fingers, you jackass. I'll bite you right back. That looks silly, but I hate when I do that. I over make it. I don't know, it's fine. It's just too loose. It was too loose for my taste. Let's get some more. Let's see what we got going on. All these look way too big. Like these are just, yeah, these are so big. Goodness, they're huge. There, that's better. I can do that one. That one's not so big. And is there a tiny one? Is there a tiny one? Not really. Let's see. Let's see. No, let me look over here. I need like a crystal or something. There we go. There's a crystally one in here. Oh my goodness, they're hard to open. Oh goodness. That's pretty. All right, we've got these three so far. Why again is this one so? All right, this is gonna have to be that way. Making me angry. All right, I'm gonna make a couple of long ones, longer ones, anyway. Three. Instead of two or one. Huh? Some more lengthy ones. and pearls in there. Yes. We've got this one and then this one and then oh, this one. Get in the hole. That's what she said. Oh. I might have to take this one off. Save it for a different one and put a pearl on here. No, no, no. I don't have many pearls, the little pearls. There we go. That's another good one. Okay, and then I've got this one. And oh, I don't want pink. Hmm. Oh, like the champagne color. And a little tiny purple. 
girl. That's pretty. All right, let's see what we can do with these so far on our little fun tassel dude. Stop getting your panties in a bunch. That one's being difficult. Do I tie some of them to the bottom of here? Do we want to do that? I mean, we could. We can try it and see what happens. And if we don't like it, we can cut it off. But I think it's a possibility. At least somewhat. Just saying what happens. It's over here on this non slip thing so it stops sliding all over the place. So I can tie this little snot of a knot. There we go. Let's see, do I like those two hanging there? Oh yeah, I do. That's really cute. We like it. Oh, we like it. So let's do some more, shall we? We shall. Let's do this one on this side. No, oh, didn't mean to pull on the eyelash. I meant to pull on the main piece. There we go. So that's a different way to do it. You can either tie them onto the bottom of your little tassel dude. Dudes. Dude. Quit getting stuck on everything. Or you can just make your own. You know. Make a little charm chain of little bead chain of its own. I dig it. Get, stop dropping. Stop it. All right, we'll stick. And two more beads. Did 
This one maybe troubles them. This may be a pain in the ass to get into the thing. I'm just going to tell you now. Is this little son of a biscuit eating bulldog does not want. There we go. I got it. I got it. I got it. Phew. Getting ready to do some good old American cussing. But I spared your virgin ears. Okay, what else we got? We got this one over here. I'm doing all the thin ones, if you hadn't noticed, all the thinner wires, not the lace, because the lace might be a little hard to maneuver into these tiny little holes. make it wet. <laughs> I just licked it. Gross. I didn't have a choice. So if I do put it in my Etsy shop, you're going to have some of my DNA at the end of this tiny little stuff because I had no choice. It was either lick it, make it wet, or it wasn't going to go through the hole. That sounded really bad. There's one here that doesn't have, there's two here that do not have beads. So we'll just have to make some more bead charms to go there because, you know, just because. My fingers are still sticky from before. They have not recuperated. All right. Let's get one of these beads. How about that? How about that? I might have to put a little seed bead in there because I don't want it to go through the other side because this, the holes on those ones are ginormous. There we go. I have to put one on top there too. And it would match it all nice. Hey, hey, hey. Hold still. <sighs> this is a little crocheted bead. Isn't that cute? I don't even know where I got that from. Maybe from Joann's or Michael's or one of those fancy places that I can't go to anymore. I used to be in there every other week. Never spent a whole lot of money, but at least I would spend like 25, 30 bucks every other week or so. Yep. That was back when I was not poor. I was certainly not rich, but I wasn't as poor as I am now. got one more here so what can we do with this one that one's too big let's see um, the 
Those are so damn big. They're just big. They're big suckaloos. Oh, you know what I got? I got these. These are pretty. What if I take one of these and put it at the bottom? Just make a small one with some random beads on it. Nothing too major. Just some beads. Open, says me. Get in there. This sucker from it. How purdy will that be? That'll be purdy. That'll be a purdy birdie. Okay. And I don't think I have to have a jump ring as big as I did in there, but. Where's my jump rings at? What'd you do with them? Who stole my jump rings? There they are. I found them. You're off the hook. Maybe this jump ring? tools. I was looking for my tools. Hey, quit that. Oh, that's beautiful. I love these. These are my favorite. They're like crystally and really sparkly and I love them. I do. Alright, which one was it? This one. We're going to put this special one on this one. I might just put this up on Etsy. Purdy, I tell you. It's purdy. Have all the lace and have all these beautiful beads sparkling. What you could do is you can use this for Christmas and you know with the beat with this all on it and everything. And then after Christmas you can take this off and hang it in your rear view mirror and it would be all sparkly beautiful. I think that would be an amazing plan. I don't know if I want to use a jump ring that big though. I have ones that are smaller that would, yeah, this would do the trick. I don't want, I don't know if that'll fit around there. I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't exactly know about that. Ooh. Open it some more. Huh. Let's see if this works out. So it's still got to go through there. But it would be a great one if I can get it on there. If I can get it to close, it would be a good jump ring to use because it's a good size. 
not too big and not too small just right and again where are my glasses not on my head but I think I got it anyway yep I sure did oh heck yeah now do we want to put a bow on there I'm thinking maybe yes I really love the beads like that it's so stinking pretty oh it's so pretty I might have to put a bead here I have something and if I can get this knot out that would be wonderful but first thinking do I want to put this on there I think what I would do if I did let me try something let me just see something here if I did do it if I took off the bulk of that stuff and made it thinner would it be okay or would we have issues yeah it looks like it'll be fine because if I can put that around there a couple times like so And do I like that? Yeah. I don't I just don't believe that that's a good idea I don't believe that would be a good idea however if I can untie this and put a bead on it I will I tied it pretty damn tight <laughs> Come on. There we go. My toothache is starting to bother me. It wasn't bothering me all night. Now it wants to bother me. Not very nice, toothache. Hey, you're not supposed to be removed from the first knot and make your own rebellious knot. That's not how it works. All right, now I gotta put musical boxes. Move this out of my way. Let's see, what do I have in here that would look pretty? I have that. I don't know if I like that. able to get this pushed in there and it's gonna be a pain 
pain in the ass, isn't it? It sure is. No. I did it. I did it. I got it on there. Beautimus. And I'm going to tie a bow on this. Please find the end of this. Thank you. That's so nice of you. Okay. seam binding. <gasps> so cute. Oh my goodness. It's so cute. This is so pretty. Seriously, this is so pretty. I'm going to put this in my Etsy store. Because if I don't do that, I'm going to keep it. Because that is gorgianius. Look at those beautiful gems and fibers and sparkle and beauty. Yeah, this is pretty. This definitely, definitely needs to be in my Etsy shop for somebody to love. So I will put it up there right after I finish putting, finish this video. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. This was super, this was pretty easy to make. And I mean, it takes a little time, of course, but you know, look how gorgeous it is. Can you imagine putting, even just if you made five or six of these and, and made them the focal pieces of your tree, you know, if you're doing a shabby chic tree, it would be beautiful. And you can just do the rest of the ornaments in like white and silver and, and off white and stuff. And then just do, you know, like six of these. And your tree would be psst, breathtaking. I just love these beads. They're so sparkly. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you'll give it a try. And um, if you would like to buy this, 
a link to my Etsy is below and you can purchase it if you would like. So yeah, I hope, I, but I hope you'll give it a try to make it because yeah, it's gorgeous. And it's a lot of fun. And yeah. So that's the end of this video. Please check my uh, description box for links to my Patreon and to my Facebook group. If you're not in it, you need to join it. And um, yeah. And I'll also put links um, to where you can get like styrofoam balls and some burlap and maybe some doilies and stuff like that to get you started. Um, maybe some Fabri-Tac and whatever. You know, I'll try to get you put some stuff in the description to help you out if you're looking to make some of these. But yeah, I had fun making this and I'm going to make some more shabby chic ones. I think if I have time. But um, yeah, if you want this one, go get it. If it's in my shop, go get it because otherwise I, I can't guarantee I'm going to make any more. It depends on how busy I get. I'd like to make some more. But we'll see. Um, so anyway, have a great rest of your week. I will talk to y'all later. Um, and if you do make them, please share them in the group. I'd really appreciate it. That would be awesome. Have a good time making these fun ornaments or any more ornaments that you're making. Have fun making them and get your kids involved and, you know, enjoy the process because that's what makes it fun. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good night, day, whatever it is for you. Make sure you do what you love and love what you do. And be nice to people. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.